body language body language is the use of physical behavior manners and body gestures to communicate with people in front of us as cross dressers or as transgender people we want to express our feminine self so apart from learning makeup and fashion it is very 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 important that we understand how we can communicate and portray our femininity through our body language when it comes to communication there is a very famous rule which is called as the 7 38 55 rule this rule explains that whenever you're talking to someone only 7% of what you say is important next how you say it forms 38% of the impact that you are able to create and the remaining 55% yes 55% is what your body language communicates in this module we will look at the different ways we can use body language our hands our movement of our body our posture when we are walking when we are talking to people when we are seated and see how we can use body language as a strong weapon to communicate our feminine side let's get started the first and the most important thing that we have to learn when it comes to our body language is our posture so having a great you know posture which exudes your confidence and your femininity is divided into five steps step number 1 is to keep your chest and your chin up it shows confidence when we have you know our head put down like this it shows lack of confidence and we don't want to come across as people who do not have confidence right so the first step that we always have to remember is to keep our chest and our chin up one great way to practice this is to use our finger whenever we are you know looking down be conscious of your face just put your finger and take it up this will help you over a period of time to create an upright face and a chin posture without the use of this finger but whenever you are alone and you are practicing at home do this another way to practice having a straight upright chin is to go against the wall and put your head against the wall let me show you how all you have to do is go find a wall and stand against the wall with your chin up and your head should be touching the wall i'll do it again that is step number 1 the second thing is your shoulders so get into a habit of rolling your shoulders like you're doing a semi circle so along with your chest and your chin which is up you are also taking your shoulders back so instead of slouching forward like this take your shoulders back this is about your upper body the third step is about your core or your tummy area so if you notice that in our day to day lives when we are not conscious of our posture we slouch forward like this and it looks very 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 bad so what we have to do is if you want to show yourself in a feminine way the first two steps as i said chest and chin up shoulders rolled backwards and keep your tummy in instead of this keep your tummy in when you keep your tummy in it will also help you to take your hip back a little bit 
although you don't have to really arch your back because it is not very comfortable but if you can just ensure that your core is tight then you will be able to have a very strong posture using your core and abdominal muscles so i will repeat the three steps again chest and chin up roll your shoulders backwards and tuck your tummy in this itself the first three steps this itself is very 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 easy and very powerful when it comes to expressing yourself as a confident female the fourth step that you have to uh, take care of are your hands so we have taken care of your tummy we have taken care of your uh, bust and your chin your head and your shoulders let's look at our hands the first thing when it comes to hands is never keep them too away from your body always keep your hands close to the body your elbows should always be touching or be very close to your body so let's say you are talking to people and you're just having a normal conversation never do this never talk like this never walk like this always keep your hands close to your close to your body like this one tip here is to keep your shoulders a little behind you behind keep sorry keep your elbows a little not at the body but a little behind your body so your elbows are here now take them back your shoulders are rolled backwards your chest is up your chin is up and you have that tall strong and very confident posture so i'll show it again from this step number 1 step number 2 step number 3 and hands close to the body so this will take care of your posture when it comes to the upper part of your body next let's look at the legs always remember to keep your knees together like this never stand like this always keep your knees together if you are just standing in one place you can also keep one knee in front of the other i will repeat the five steps once again so from this chest and chin up shoulders roll backwards tummy in elbows close and a little behind the body and legs close to each other knees always close to each other you can have one knee in front of the other as well so this is the five step process that you have to practice if you want to have a very feminine and a very confident posture